Hi you guys, today we're gonna talk about what keywords to use when searching for job opportunities for informatics specialists like us. Hey you guys, this is Jen from Informatics Life where I give you real world informatics content as well as about healthcare, technology, and leadership. All of that, yes. Today I wanted to do a video about keywords to use whenever you're searching for a job opportunity. And I wanna talk about the different titles and why they may be labeled that way and what to look for and what to go ahead and skip over if you see this, okay? The first one I wanna talk about is, of course, simple, plain, and sweet, informatics specialist, okay? <laughs> yes, that sounds very simple enough, and it is. It's pretty simple. Always look in the description, and I say that because a lot of people do get excited for that wording, informatics specialist, but then when they go to the job description, and if you're a health informatics specialist, you see all these medical licenses that they are <laughs> requiring for that position. So that's why I say it's best to just don't get excited yet. Hold that excitement. I know you're excited. You just graduated. I'm like, how do you get a job? Look in the description first, okay? Uh, you can, they'll tell you, of course, what medical and what medical degrees they require, but look for this keyword in there. If it says preferred, preferred, all right? If it's a preferred, apply, okay? The reason why I say that is hopefully you know what preferred means. It does not mean that they are only looking for that type of person with that type of license. It's just that they prefer it. And I am a hiring manager, so I know that we do not always get the preferred <laughs> that we're looking for. But, and candidates can be very attractive without a medical license or without a certain degree. Now, a lot of times you will see preferences for degrees too. Again, please note, go ahead and apply if it says preferred. Because again, like I said, as a hiring manager, I am looking for a whole type of person in the interview. And if you come impressed, now for nursing informatics, I have to hire RN typically or RRT. <laughs> but you know, if you don't have a master's degree, if you don't have a bachelor's degree, you know, some people will take an associate's degree because you are so impressive with everything else that you've built your resume with. I hope you watched that resume series I did. Please go watch that to build your resume as well as um, the interview. Watch both of those because I, I give you so many tips, y'all. I give you so many tips to do. So anyways, back to this informatics specialist keyword. Uh, again, look look for the that, you know, whether it's degrees preferred or whether it's uh, licensure is preferred, look. And if it has that word preferred, don't you be discouraged, <laughs> all right? You go for it and make sure you're impressive as well as make sure you're not going there and you didn't even do anything to your resume to build it up. You're gonna, you know, expect what you, what you invested in, okay? All right, so informatics specialist. You got that, informatics specialist. The next one that people typically do not know about, that is clinical analyst. Say it with me, children. Clinical analyst, right? You're probably like, what? <laughs> clinical analyst, that is what we're actually called. <laughs> so you will find areas that do call them informatics specialists but our position title, like at my organization, and I've seen it at other organizations, they actually call them clinical analysts. So you would need to type that into the keyword search when you're looking for a job. And you're probably like, why would that be considered an informatics specialist type of job? 
Well, number one, it may or may not. You need to look at the description to make sure it's what you're looking for. Uh, but clinical, we are clinical staff. We are we work with clinical, I should say, we work with clinical people, analysts, it's because we analyze uh, both operations and both IT-ish work, it's the best way I can put it. <laughs> but I get kind of why they call us clinical analysts. I'm gonna go into different positions in a series, so I need you to look for where can I work as an informatics specialist. Look for that series, it's coming, okay? If you work for like a, a medical device company or something like that, they may not call that clinical analyst. But in the hospital setting, rehab facility, uh, skilled nursing facility, they may call it a clinical analyst. But just know that that is a keyword search that you can use to find a job, all right? Another one is, I'm gonna throw these two together because obviously this whole channel is dedicated to that. And that is nursing informatics specialist and health informatics specialist. You might find also another keyword, healthcare informatics specialist. So make sure you're typing those two or three renditions in the nursing informatics specialist, healthcare informatics specialist, and health informatics specialist in the search word. Now that, I don't really have to go in depth with why that terminology is used because it's a specialty. Now, if you have an RN degree, remember you can apply for a healthcare or a health informatics specialist job. The other way around, if you don't have an RN degree or RN licensure, you won't be able to apply for a nursing informatics specialist job opportunity unless you see something in the description. I mean, hey, always check the description. <laughs> could be something different there. But typically, um, that's why when you have that RN license, the door, you have more opportunities out there for you and for the job types that you can go into. Now, I would like to say, hopefully you saw the salary series that I put down there that, you know, they may offer you that health informatics specialist job, but the pay might not be what you want because they're not requiring an RN licensure. And that, you know, that means that it's gonna most likely be bumped down a notch for salaries. Check out more in the salary series, okay? I really go in depth with that. All right, so you got those three keyword searches. Look for those, all right? Another one that you may not be aware of, and I will just generalize this uh, because a big part of our job as informatics specialists is that a lot of times we are educators. We educate about technology. We educate about the EMR system, the documentation system. So you could potentially type in educator or informatics educator and see if a job will come up for that. I do know informatics educators <laughs> and they are phenomenal. And they really, really solely focus on just the education piece. They don't really do build and design and all that of the documentation system. They really just focus on teaching the documentation system, uh, educating of it, any changes, blah, 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 all that, okay? They do an amazing work. But so you can type in informatics educator and that's why I like to explain the difference between informatics educator versus an informatics just a specialist. They, the informatics specialist could be more of a broader scope of things that you would do versus the informatics educator will have a whole hospital or a couple units where they're just specializing in that type of edu informatics education. All right, so informatics educator, don't forget, keyword search. All right, and then just the broad spectrum of informaticists. I remember when I got into this position and back in 2013, and I was like, I'm an informaticist. And people were like, I what, if I'm a hump? <laughs> yes, I'm an informaticist. So it sounds like some kind of ant bug thing, you know? So you could potentially type that into keyword searches, informaticist. Now, let me tell you, if you type in, and this is another one, I said, I'm gonna put this in there too. If you put informaticist as well as an informatic specialist in, you could get an array of different topics here 
because remember there there's also biomedical informatics there's a couple different other renditions of informatics specialists out there so it won't that keyword might give you a lot but you could do it there could be something out there that you like these these new companies that are coming up they probably don't even really know what to call us but they just know that they need us <laughs> they need somebody with medical knowledge as well as uh tech knowledge so they could just throw in a name informaticist or informatic specialist because they're just looking for somebody that can help them so check those keywords out read the description to see what they want you could find a fit for you for sure so just know like, make sure it's not something crazy that you're like, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Check both of those terms out. All right, another one, another keyword is clinical application specialist. You're like, what? Yes. <laughs> so a clinical application analyst, honestly, they can do this, they, they do what we do. Informatics, they can do informatics work, okay? And that's just another name that people will call them. Clinical applications. You could just specialize in certain applications. Like if you know Cerner, if you know Epic, if you know uh, Bridge, if you know Sunrise, if you know like all these different specific applications, they just really just, I guess, to make it more narrow focus and what you're doing, you would just be over a certain type of applications that you would specialize in, train people in, educate on, you would uh, troubleshoot it, even do build and those type of things. But again, it's whatever you wanna do. Just know clinical applications analyst is another keyword search you could use when looking for a job. And last but not least, let's talk about Optimization Specialist! Right, that just sounds like a noble job title. But you know what they do? They do the same thing we do. <laughs> optimization is pretty much what it sounds like. So, Optimization Specialist is another keyword you want to use when searching for a job. And they just, again, they just, they can look at data to see how nurses are documenting on certain things or clinical staff or whatever type of company you work for. They will be pulling data for, from people's EMRs or whatever. And all you would do is look at that data and see where the need is and go and try to fix the need. Okay, they're not scanning the way they're supposed to. Let me implement some strategies to improve the scanning. You are optimization specialists. You want them to optimize the use of whatever that is. So that is another keyword search you can look for. And a lot of times, I don't want you guys to be scared. Like you're like, I have no idea what to do any of that stuff. Remember this on the job training. You know, I have my master's degree in informatics. So nursing informatics, we were all over the place. We're learning totally different things. So it's really where you narrow your focus on is what you want to do. But remember there's on the job training too. Go there, find out what you want to do. If, you, if you're here early, you are amazing if you got to my video super early <laughs> because again, you can find out what they do at your job and you can become what they want as well as see what kind of job you would like to see yourself in in the future. And then narrow it down, shadow people, whatever you need to do to get ahead of life, okay? So I hope I gave you, I, I think I gave you some top ones I know there's gonna be different renditions that come up in the future. I might do part two eventually if I hear of any other type of titles out there. But I know when you're Googling, when you're whatever, duck, duck, go, go, whatever that is called, Yahooing, whatever you do, type in those keywords that I mentioned so that you can uh, make sure you are covering all types of job opportunities you're seeking, okay? Now again, these medical companies that hire informatics specialists, they could have funky names. So I'm gonna tell you to just go to their site, look at their careers, and make sure you just, if anything sounds very similar, look at the description to see what they're looking for, because they could, they could be looking for you. You got that? They could be looking for you. All right? <laughs> All right, you guys, it was a pleasure sharing this content with you. I hope it 
helps you to become the best you out there. This is Jen Lewis, Informatics Nurse Specialist, signing off. See you later.